So if you're a drummer and you live in an apartment, I'm sure by now you've seen some videos online about these drum isolation platforms that claim to reduce the transmission of noise between your drum kit and the apartment below. But how well do they really work? Well, I built one and today we're going to test that out. Let's take a look. So let me tell you how I stumbled across these drum platforms. I was living in Melbourne for two years in an apartment and I set up my drum kit on the first day, started playing it and within two minutes I had neighbours coming up to tell me that it was way too loud. So I was looking everywhere for a solution and I came across these drum platforms that people had built online using a product called Silima, which is an engineered polyurethane foam. I decided to take the leap, I ordered some Silima and I built my platform, specially engineered for my platform weight, my body weight and my drum kit weight. So then I wrote a note and I took it downstairs and left it on my neighbor's door and I left my name, my number and explained to them that I built this platform and didn't expect them to experience any more issues but to give me a call or send me a text if they heard anything further. Anyway, I never got a call for the remainder of the two years so I suspect that the platform worked but I was never able to verify this. So I finally got the opportunity to test out the platform and see how well it works at isolating structural born noise from transmitting to the floor below. So let's cut across to my dad's house where I'll explain the setup and you can listen to three scenarios with the drum kit placed straight on the carpet, on a foam mat on the carpet, and then on the platform on the carpet. And tell me if you can hear any difference. Hey guys, so quick run through on the setup. We've got the Roland sitting in this upstairs bedroom. I'm currently just straight on the carpet, no platform for our first test. So that bedroom sits behind this door and then we'll walk downstairs and show you the mic setup. So the living room downstairs is behind a second door. And then here we've got the 80 setup. Uh, this is sitting directly below the room upstairs where the drum kit is. Um, the mic's set up at about ear height to simulate someone listening in the room below. Um, and I've chosen the AT4040 because it's got some decent sensitivity and a relatively flat frequency response. So that's running into the UFX2. I've got the gain set up at about 55 and I ran some quick tests. That has the drums when I'm playing upstairs sitting at about minus 6 dB. So a couple of notes about the setup. I had to make sure that I chose somewhere that had minimal airborne acoustic transmission. Um, while still preserving the structural transmission. Um, that way we can test the reduction in the structural transmission that the platform provides. Another important note about this setup is that this house was constructed with concrete ceilings, which is very similar to how most modern apartments are built with concrete slabs between each of the levels. So we're gonna get a really good understanding of how the platform would perform um, in a modern apartment that's constructed with a concrete slab.
So you probably listened to those three samples and thought, hey, there's not actually that much difference. I must say I thought the same. So I did some analysis on the data and I noticed in the third scenario where we were playing the drums on the platform, there was a large spike at about 120 hertz. And from playing the drums in the room, it sounded like 120 hertz was about the natural resonance frequency of the kick drum on the drum platform. And that potentially a lot of this noise coming through was actually airborne noise and not structural. So I ran a little test and I put a UE boom upstairs playing 120 hertz sine wave. And I measured the decibels in the room upstairs and the room below. And the difference between those two values should tell us the STC rating of the ceiling, or in other words, by how many decibels the ceiling is able to reduce airborne noise. Let's take a look. So there's the UE boom. Let's have a look. So about here, sitting at 78 dB. So that's sitting at about 47 dB. So the difference between 78 and 47 is 31, which is about how many decibels the volume of the sine wave at 120 Hertz was reduced between the room upstairs and the room below. So this leads me to think that a large part of the volume that we were hearing when the drums were on the platform was actually airborne noise because 30 dB is not really enough to provide adequate acoustic transmission loss for something like a drum kit, even an electronic one. Another verification test we can run is to apply a low pass filter to the three scenarios and compare the decibels of the noise produced below 60 Hz. The reason for this is because structural bass noise typically occupies the sub bass region, so around about 60 Hz and below. So now take a listen to the three scenarios with a low pass filter applied. I recommend wearing headphones for this section because computer speakers won't reproduce these low frequencies. So to wrap it up, the drum platform was able to provide about 12 decibels of reduction in the sub bass frequencies, which is pretty good. However, due to the airborne transmission in the system, we were unable to discern the performance of the platform in the bass and the mid frequencies, which means we weren't able to achieve the full objective of our test, which was to determine the reduction in structural sound transmission that the platform was able to provide. Another useful conclusion here is noting that the kick drum was the main offender when the drums were on the platform creating that fundamental note of 120 hertz. A workaround here would be to use a mesh kick drum head instead of a rubber head. The lighter mass of the mesh would create a higher fundamental note which would be less likely to go through the floor and keep your neighbors happy and you playing drums for longer. So if you guys found this test useful or are interested in seeing me perform a more thorough test, please let me know and I'll prioritize finding a more suitable test space and follow up with another test video. Cheers. Mm -hmm.